In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for sodium acetate plus sulfuric acid. So the first thing with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. It turns out that our molecular equation here, it's already balanced, which is kind of nice. Now we need to write the state for each substance. That looks like this. Compounds with the acetate ion and with the sodium ion, very soluble. Sulfuric acid, strong acid, that soluble dissociate into its ions. In the CH3COOH, that will be soluble, but remember this is a weak acid. That becomes important a little bit later. We have a sodium compound, so this is going to be very soluble as well. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions, and that will give us the complete ionic equation. That looks like this. I haven't written the states, but everything here would be aqueous. We'll write those at the end. Note that I didn't split the weak acid, the acetic acid, apart in the net ionic equation. It does dissociate a little bit, but very little, so we leave this together. Also note that this 2 here, that means I have 2 hydrogen ions, so I need to put a coefficient of 2 to show that. Once we have the complete ionic equation here, we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. We have our reactants and our products. So in the reactants I see the sodium ion and in the products. So I can cross that out. Those are spectator ions. But everything else is unique. So this is the net ionic equation for sodium acetate plus sulfuric acid. Let me clean it up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the net ionic equation for CH3COONA plus H2SO4. Sodium acetate plus sulfuric acid. You note the charge is the same. If you add the charge up on the ions on both sides, they'll work out to be the same, and the atoms, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.